Welcome to the IoT Travels podcast, where we speak to interesting people in the industry about where their IoT travels have taken them. As well as discussing the industry, we also pick up some travel tips along the way. So Jerry McDonald, Davra Sales, Kingpin and Detroit, Michigan are the stars of today's show. So Jerry, would you mind um, introducing yourself? Hello, Brian. Um, yes, my name is um, Jerry McDonald. I'm the VP of Sales, working here with the Davra team for several years now. Um, been to Michigan many times and there's a lot going on there, so I plan to be there for in the future. What about um, hobbies, interests, anything uh, else you can tell us about yourself? Yeah, well, uh, I guess uh, travel is a, is a keen interest of mine and, you know, being part of the job, it actually f- fulfills that. Um, but play a bit of golf, a uh, bit of tennis, uh, walking, swimming, that sort of thing. Uh, like the outdoors. Um, again, Michigan is a great place for, for that sort of thing. So I've been lucky to be involved in a lot of activities there. Okay, that's great, Jerry. Um, so a little bit deeper on Detroit itself. Um, so Detroit, it's known for you know, obviously Ford Motor Company, General Motors, Chrysler, but also Detroit is known as one of the top innovation hubs in, in the US. Also has a really low cost of living, is a mecca for arts and culture, and is an amazing place for adventures because you know all the, the trails and the lakes and parks. Um, so could you just, just tell me a little bit personally um, what you think of Detroit and its people and maybe a little bit about the, the regeneration that's going on in, in Detroit? Yeah, Brian, I, um, you know, I probably had the perception of Detroit, like many people, um, of it not being a great place in the US to visit. But um, I've been going there since 2017 and uh, you can really notice the, the change in the, in the city. Um, there's a lot of investment by philanthropists there and um, people are really, uh, really friendly. And uh, although it might have a perception of uh, not a great place, it's for me, it certainly is uh, something that I'm glad I've uh, visited and got to work there. And uh, I'd certainly uh, have, have no problems going out at night. Restaurants, bars are, are, are plentiful and uh, it's it's quite a safe place. And I'm actually um, strangely uh, talking it up to actually Americans over there that have a, a perception of the place not being great to go to. So um, I'm nearly acting as a <laughs> as one of their tour guides over there right now. Yeah, that's that's great, Jerry. We'll talk a little bit more about the, the bars and restaurants a little bit later on. Um, obviously, you're from Dublin, Ireland. Um, just simple question. How do, you, how do you actually get get to Detroit? Any travel tips, airlines that you use? Yeah, um, so there is many options to get to Detroit. Um, I suppose the most direct way and the way we try and uh, book is via Boston uh, on Aer Lingus. Um, you get then a JetBlue flight that can get you in either at 6, six o'clock uh, in the evening or 11 p.m. that night. I, I you know, obviously opt for the 6 o'clock one to try and adjust to the, the jet lag. There, there's also other ways of going there through uh, New York. Um, you get a United flight then uh, up to uh, Detroit. Uh, failing that, you can go directly to Chicago and get a, a Delta Lines flight uh, up to um, up to Detroit. And um, th- that's all with Aer Lingus. I mean, there's um, American Airlines, Delta, and United all fly direct from Dublin as well. There's also a good option if you do go to Chicago. Um, I took the train. Uh, it's about a five-hour train journey from. Um, Chicago to Detroit. Uh, there's Wi-Fi on the train, so it's plenty of time to, to catch up on on the you know what's happening back in Dublin. So at least you don't leave too much work to do when you get back. Yeah, just a final question before we get more into IoT in in Detroit. Um, where do you actually stay? Do you have any recommendations? Are you like a Marriott's Rewards man? Are you you know do you maybe use hotels.com i know a lot of people are starting to use hotels.com or bookings.com the good uh, reward scheme um so maybe you could talk to that yes um i'm a hotels.com man oh, really um, me too. um get a, a lot of days every 10 days you stay over there you get yeah. an extra day you can use that in any hotel around the world um i've been in detroit so many times i've actually got my holidays last year uh, on uh, <laughs> free days i got with uh hotels.com and that combined with the Aer Lingus points I basically got a free holiday last year um, but no I, I, I normally stay in the Doubletree by Hilton 
it's it's not a it's not a five star hotel, but um, there's a good crowd there. Um, it's a usual crowd. I know people in the bar there. The bar people in the hotel know me. Um, everyone knows you. Jay. Everyone knows me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's also um, depending on what your preference is to either stay close to the business that you're doing over there or maybe stay in the city so at least you have somewhere to go in the evenings. The, there's plenty of hotels over there and all the main chains, such as said, Brian, um, the Hilton, the Marriott, uh, the Weston, um, they're all there. I do a lot of business in Dearborn and there's a great hotel there uh, called Henry. Um, I've stayed in it a, a few times. It is a more of five star, but uh, depending on the business I'm doing and who I'm meeting, really determines where I'm going to stay. Very good, very good. So great. So Jerry, I often um I often hear you call Michigan your Silicon Valley. Um can you tell us a little bit about that and also what business you do in, in Detroit in Michigan? Um Brian, um we're very busy, um, as you know, um from a Dabber perspective working in, in Michigan and it's like we've uh, hit a, a, a purple vein. Um most of the business is with the automate, automotive uh, manufacturers, um, uh, 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 usually around uh, manufa manufacturing 4.0. Um, apart from that, uh, there's other uh, initiatives, as some of the automotive makers have uh, a lot of uh, buildings, um, so we get a lot of business around, say, building management. but. Predominantly, it's all to do with uh, uptime on the on the factory floor. So uh, if any of those lines go down, it's um, I think one of the automotive manufacturers told us it's it's ten grand a minute. So it's very important to put in solutions that make sure we have uh, uh, the the lines are as efficient as possible and that there's no possibility of downtime, or at the very least that you can actually uh, predict when a line is going to go down. So. That's the sort of uh, solutions that uh, we're we're uh, offering to those manufacturers. Great. I suppose you could say you're you're going to Gemba. You know, it's going to Gemba. Yeah, well, that's to... that's uh, that's certainly where the business is. Yeah. Um, but uh, we're actually doing pretty well in Michigan. And um, although we're in uh, one particular uh, car automotive manufacturer, uh, that the word has got out on the streets, and uh, we're getting phone calls now from other of the big three there in Michigan. Excellent. That's brilliant. That's super. Um, I suppose this is a tough question. Um, would you consider Detroit a smart city? I know it's broad and big, but would you would you consider it a smart city? Yeah, I think uh, I think smart city comes from um, the people in the city wanting to make their lives better. So, I suppose from a Detroit perspective, um, they have seen it all. Uh, the bad, the bad, the good times. I guess back in the. 70s and 80s and the bad times in the 80s and 90s and uh, there's a certain attitude there and mindset to improve quality of life for their communities so i guess they have a dna to make their city smart and what i've seen since 2017 is a lot of investment from those philanthropists in uh, a, a platform that can offer those that those communities uh, certain advantages in how they interact with government and agencies and things like that. Um, we did do a, a smart city initiative in Dearborn um, with a, a, a great person over there called Jackie Lovejoy. Uh, she's the president of the chamber in Dearborn and she organized an event for us, uh, which went very well. We were um, working with Cisco and uh, EY and uh, it just showed using modern technologies such as blockchain of how you could come up with innovative ideas, sound complex, but make it really easy for the uh, consumers community um, to, to consume. So I was very uh, proud that Davro were uh, part of that initiative. Yeah, no, that's great stuff, Jerry. Um, next question, I suppose. Um, what I do sometimes is I kind of like associate different cities with different um, IoT verticals and, and even countries with IoT verticals. So I'll give you an example. So. When I'm doing work in, we have a few accounts in Houston. I really associate Houston with oil and gas, so the oil and gas vertical within IoT. Um, in some ways, this may be a stupid question, but would you associate Detroit with any specific IoT vertical? Well, I suppose uh, it's it's a it's a little bit of a straight an obvious yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the it's the home of Motown, so it's the automotive industry. 
So you have the big three, you have the Ford, you have the, the Chrysler, and you have the GM. That said, Detroit is, all, is also associated on the record labels with, uh, with music. Um, and that's a, a key part of what goes on uh, in Detroit. So um, I'm, I'm trying to come up with some IoT uh, solutions around the music industry. <laughs> but, uh, to your point, uh, automotive and manufacturing 4.0 in, 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 all its, um, in all its guises is uh, very much part of Detroit. The other thing which you need to remember is that the automotive industry is actually serviced by multiple other industries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you, you have sort of fabrication industry, you have tooling industries, you have things like that. So it, it's not directly um, automotive, but there's significant linkage, mm -hmm. uh, even down to uh, providing sandwiches, uh, providing catering and et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot of linkage in to do with the automotive industry. And I guess that's what IoT is all about, is connecting things. Oh, that's good. Good insights, Jerry. Um, just finally, I suppose in this section, um, if you were to maybe help somebody or recommend, give recommendations on how somebody could go about doing business in Detroit, would you have any any recommendations for a for a young, hungry uh, sales guy? Yeah, well, Brian, I don't think uh, Detroit is a place for young, hungry sales guys to go because really no business in there at all. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bit of a joke, uh, uh, Brian. Uh, oil and, oil and, oil. And, I, and I refer to... Um, that famous album um, by the Eagles, Hotel California. Um, and I'm probably showing the age on this, but the last track and the last line on the last song is uh, goes, um, if you call some place paradise, kiss it goodbye. So from a sales perspective, there's no business in Detroit. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I'm hoping that Davra can capture a, a good significant amount of that business. Again, I suppose being a bit serious, um, People in Detroit uh, like people to be around. They like don't like people just flying into town and flying out of there. So I guess on a serious note, if you do want to do business in Detroit, you actually need to be there for the long haul. Uh, you need to uh, meet people in person. Um, otherwise, phone calls and emails, is, it's just not going to cut it. Very good. Um, okay, so we move on from the IoT kind of base questions, and this is more of a fun, fun section. Just a few quick fire questions for you, Jerry, um, about yourself and Detroit. So, favorite restaurant in Detroit? Prime and proper, great steak restaurant. And that's in the downtown. That's downtown. Yes. Excellent. And uh, your favorite bar or restaurant in Detroit? Uh, favorite favorite bar would be um, actually the hotel bar in the Double Tree because. Uh, it's a bit like the the Cheers bar. They know your name. Good beer, good company, uh, good food actually as well. Excellent. Um, is there anything like a must do or a must visit whilst in Detroit? Go to Henry Ford Museum. It's great, a uh, great museum. Um, plenty to do. You stay there all day, and you'd really get the feel for Motown and what Detroit is all about. Excellent. So I suppose is there any um, any insider tip on Detroit you would give? Bring cash in your pocket because uh, sometimes uh, Uber and uh, and Lyft, um, you know, they, they 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 like being paid cash sometimes. Excellent. Um, favorite Netflix show that you might watch on the plane to to Detroit or anywhere, I suppose. Um, that that medical Amsterdam. I, I I watch that every now and again. Um, I'm not a big Netflix uh, fan. Um. Uh, Normally, uh, listen to music or catch a film on the plane. Okay, brilliant. Um, something I always do when I go to a city, I always kind of look at it and say, well, would I bring my wife here? So, for Detroit, would you bring yes, your wife? To, yes, definitely, to... definitely bring my wife. Excellent. Um, is there anything that you can't travel without? Kindle. I bring me Kindle everywhere. This is an interesting one. So, who's the most interesting person you have met in Detroit? Ray Cushman, the Cisco Global Account Manager, most interesting person I've ever met. Uh, from a optimism, optimism, and just a, a good view on life. Excellent, that's brilliant. Um, beer, craft beer, wine, or Guinness? Beer. Um, the last book you read? Uh, last book. Ooh. Um, pass. <laughs> I know you actually read loads of books, yeah, so I'm surprised you pass on that one. Yeah, no, uh, 
Actually, I read a good book, which was The Fall and Rise of the Automobile Industry. And it's actually all about Detroit, but it wasn't the last book. Yeah. But it is. it goes up to 1992, and it uh, goes deeply into the big three automobile manufacturers. Read that. That was very good. Yeah, sounds good. Um, two final questions on this, Jerry. Um, this is a good one, I think, for you. So an inspirational life mantra for when things get stressful. Um, well, so someone actually put it on our um, healthcare solution, the, the Davra Care, which is uh, fall down seven times, get up eight. And, and, and although it's not my own, I thought it's, it's very apt. No, that's brilliant. Like it. Um, final question, and it's a tough one, I suppose. IoT in five years. Um, I think IoT, the name will change. Um, but in terms of connecting remote devices or anything, uh, I think that'll be still there. It'll it'll morph into something else, like we we had with you know um, colos went on to uh, cloud services and things like that. I think IoT's name will change, but the basic concept will remain the same. Excellent. Um, great talking to you, Jerry. Um, what about your next IoT travel? Yeah, well, I'm uh, going back to Detroit uh, in the next couple of months, but uh, I suppose in between that, I have a, a trip to Dubai, I have a trip to Germany, and I have a trip to Zagreb in Croatia. Um, so that they're probably the ones that are pending right now. Um, yeah. No, that's brilliant. It's actually, Zagreb sounds like it could be a good podcast. Maybe we get you back in. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Thanks for thanks for all your insights on Detroit and IoT, and for learning a bit more about yourself. Even My though, pleasure, Brian. Yeah. Um, if some of our listeners want to get in contact with, with you, um, what's the best way? LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> Do I don't think, think <laughs> yeah. fit the age profile. Um, LinkedIn is probably the best way. Um, I, I'm I'm a fairly active user on it. Um, the Davra the Davra website. Uh, if you want to. Uh, send something into that and um, I'd certainly respond back um, and actually if you if anyone wants some information on Detroit uh, planning a holiday even you can drop me a note or via LinkedIn. Thanks. Sounds great thank you Jerry. Thanks Blake.